I've been in prison 21 years this year. It's very hard, especially when I got on death row. What was it like to hear that you were being sentenced to death? It, it didn't. I guess I was numb by then from the grieving. I was numb from the pain. I was numb from the, just everything that happened. I was just numb. The United States is one of the very few remaining countries that actually carries out executions. Very few women are condemned to death who have a previous criminal record. Most of them are on death row for killing intimate partners, for killing children, for killing people they know. Doesn't look like anything bad happened here. This call came out sometime after noon, around one in the afternoon. The scene was very confusing. There was no visible fire damage from the outside. The house looked completely clean. Okay, you had a fire there last night. Uh-huh. You just woke up? Right. You were sleeping the whole time during the fire? Yeah, I assume. They sent the paramedic rig over there with two paramedics. Paramedics came in through the door, and they see her and her 14-year-old son sitting on a sofa eating cookies. And the son wouldn't talk to them. He was busy staring at the TV. There was a light dust of soot, but not enough to tell what happened. At the beginning of this case, when we were presented with the information that four people were dead in the house, two people had survived but were sort of acting drunk, we had no idea why this happened. Had I had more experience at that time, I would have recognized more the effects of carbon monoxide. Just the two larger persons survived. We had fire damage burning the walls up to about chest high. Where are the kids at right now? Uh, on the floor. On the floor what? In the kitchen. Sleeping? Are they injured? I don't know. I don't know what condition they're in. The paramedic that was searching the house came into the kitchen area. And then he sees this horrible scene. It's just this pile of little girls laying in the kitchen floor. With any murder, any murder-suicide plan, anything, the big question of the day is why. What we learned through the investigation is that things clearly were not going Sandy's way at this point in time in her life. This is all she was thinking about. Scott? She was in a relationship with uh, Scott Folk, and he broke up with her two weeks before the incident. She announced to him she was pregnant, and he dropped a big bomb. Well, I don't want any kids. Four days before the fire, she had an abortion, the baby that she was carrying for folk. 
It is postmarked July 1st, and it's stamped from Santa Clarita. So that would have been the day of the fire. On Sunday, one of her ex-husbands received this in the mail, and it was postmarked July 1st. OK, now this happened July 1st. And inside is a note from her. You can read it. Now you don't have to support any of us. You. Wow. You are scum. I think all the evidence when taken together paints a very clear picture of what occurred. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant Sandy Don Nieves guilty of the crime of murder of first degree. To get approval to seek the death penalty, you draft a memo with various criteria that goes to the death penalty committee. They make a recommendation to the death penalty supervisor whether to seek the death penalty. And that's what was done in this case. And he determined that the death penalty was appropriate. So we sought it. Today was the day for her resentencing. I spent four and a half months trying the case, and I still have an interest. So we are here ostensibly because there is a remitter from the California Supreme Court indicating that they have overturned the death penalty in this case. The Supreme Court reversed the case because they felt that Judge Wyatt went too far. It's very clear that the court was very clear that they did not overturn her conviction. She is a convicted mass murderer. They just overturned her sentence because of judicial misconduct, meaning her defense attorney and the judge uh, had bitter fights in court in front of the jury. And that, that was it. And that's just defense attorney shenanigans and a judge who fell for the bait. The defense attorney was an obstructionist. And that's what he did every single day for four and a half months. And I guess you could say he won. All right, so as to counts one through four, the death penalty having been overturned by function of law of life without possibility of parole will be the sentence as to each of these counts. They've removed the death sentence, but not the guilt. They resentenced me to life without the possibility of parole. It's not what I wanted, but it's much better, much more humane to be in general population in my eyes. And then I don't ever have to worry about going back to that cage. My reason for existing at this time is to one day be able to talk to my son. I want my son and my grandchildren to know that I love them and I would never purposely ever hurt them in any way, shape, or form. And if I die, they need to know. And the way it looks, I'm going to die in here. I don't have sympathy for her at all. She's right where she needs to be. Um, I, f I feel badly for her, her son, David. He survived this. And yes, he survived it physically, but I can't, I, I can't imagine what happened with him over the last 20 some years. Mm -hmm. 